in the entire district about a positive COVID-19 case. Ultimately, the health department says it's the district's call. It's a little nerve wracking. Oh, Donna yeah. Hackman is a parent of a senior at East Noble High School. Unfortunately, I wasn't very surprised. You'll see kids in the the hallways, they won't wear the masks. She says she appreciated the district's transparency. When she read this email from East Noble Community Schools about two positive COVID-19 cases, it wasn't very specific, but she's glad she at least got the heads up. Uh, it could be my daughter. It could be my daughter bringing it home to me. Her daughter, Ellie Hackman, is a senior at East Noble High School. So it's kind of important to be transparent about it because a lot of people's lives are at risk and a lot of people's lives could be affected. Yeah. Didn't know. Officials with Northwest Allen County Schools followed the same format Wednesday, sending this email alert to their families. It says there was one positive case in the district. We did send the letter out and as part of being transparent in an effort to help parents just get through the first time and the first experience with it and to walk through the process and the protocol of what to expect. But this type of district-wide alert isn't required. In Allen County, the health department says it is ultimately the individual district's or school's decision to determine whether or not they put out a mass notification to parents. I think parents in general need to be kept in the loop about the entire school. Renee Maples has a child who attends Fort Wayne Community Schools. I think everybody needs to be made aware regardless. She might be disappointed because officials at FWCS told us over the phone they are sticking to their policy of only alerting people who were in close contact. When the health department told us it's up to the individual districts to determine whether they use system-wide alerts, we reached out to all four Allen County districts. We are still waiting to hear back from Southwest and East Allen County Schools. All right.